Hey guys, I hope that it's not too dark. I don't think it is, but it was super bright during the day and it would have been like way too bright to film a video. So I started filming it right now. Also, quick side note, can we talk about how cute these post-its are? They have like little lines on them and they're little like flags that you can put at the end of a binder or like notebook or whatever. I've been staring at them all day. Haven't used one, but I've been staring at them. They're super cute. Anyway, as you can tell from the title, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about school and you guys know that I am I consider myself to be a lifelong learner as I think every human being is. Um, I do love to learn. I do love to like educate myself on all different things. I can take pretty much interest in absolutely anything. But as you guys can see from the title, I wanted to talk about people who feel that they hate school. Um, I totally get it. Like I, I completely understand. I I never liked high school. I did like college. I've always liked school like even when I was little like I mean I feel like everyone when they're little at some point or another I think my dad just sneezed or my brother and they keep sneezing we're good um never mind <laughs> I wonder if you guys hear that anyway um we even like when we're little like we we always play school we do things like that because it's fun because school should be a fun thing but it just tends to not be a fun thing as you get older although I will say my college experience was pretty good and I did enjoy it I didn't I didn't love it, um, but I did like it. I think when it comes to school, the thing where like where we lose our motivation for school doesn't lie around the fact that it is hard or that it's overbearing. I think everyone can handle it and I think that everyone is really actually smart and you know everyone's got like their gifts in their mind that are brilliant. So I don't think it's like a lack of something that that makes you not like school and I don't think it's that you don't like the idea of education I think everyone likes the idea of being educated it's just that sometimes our school systems can be like a little bit backwards for example I think that a lot of the times in school we're so focused on memorization because we have to be because that's kind of what's required of us especially um, especially in high school I noticed that everything was like memorizing dates and who said what quote in this book and whatever and it's just like kind of it seems irrelevant you know and it maybe it's not irrelevant but it does seem irrelevant because memorization only can get you so far i think that when it comes to like critical thinking that's when you really start to tap into your mind and your creative side and that's when you start to like be really innovative and if you explore things and your mind just starts to grow and you start to really challenge yourself and naturally as a person I think you're intended to do that so I think you will like it if you're able to do that but a lot of the times in school we aren't given the opportunity to do that we're just told to memorize things so I think that that's a little bit discouraging when it comes to school I also think that a lot of the times especially again in high school um, the social aspect of school is so overbearing like well I remember it being overbearing I obviously don't know how it is nowadays I would honestly only assume it's worse just because of social media um, it was just so much like it's just too too much between like the way that people can treat you sometimes and make you feel like you're so alone and then you have to sit in classes with these people and sometimes people are just picking on you the whole time and you're like what the heck like how am I supposed to focus on my education and on getting out of school if I can't even sit here without like wanting to cry you know so there's things like that that I think are also tough and I think those things also take a toll on your education and what your grades honestly come out to be and I think that people tell you to ignore it and whatever and that's just not logical that's just not something that can easily happen so I'm here to tell you that I kind of I understand what you're saying and I, I think that you're totally rational for thinking that way if you do think that way but I think that deep down we all love to learn I think that we are like our brains are so complex that we're intended to learn we're intended to like know maybe not know everything but know as much as we can possibly learn and I think everyone is always going to be a lifelong learner and I actually think that it's funny that kids tend to not like school but like as you get older like once you are an adult a lot of adults tend to just want to go back to school or they want to learn and adults tend to read a little bit more than than most kids do for the most part and I think that's simply because they're not being told how to learn they're just doing it in the way that their body intakes information so like for me that may be reading for someone else that may be doing something creative or being uh, innovative and inventing something that's totally new and something that I wouldn't be able to do you know what I mean so like everyone's got their different quirks to their mind in a way that their mind works and that's what I think really sparks an education 
So I think that when it comes to motivating yourself for school, you have to understand that like it's not all going to be taught in the way that your mind may comprehend it. Um, but if you take up the topic that you're learning about in school and learn it in a different way, even if it's like, I know people hate like spending their time at home, like doing that, but maybe at night before you go to bed, like look, research things or whatever that you're learning in school that way and research it in a way that will help you intake the information a little bit better. And then you'll feel more motivated because you'll understand it and you'll actually grow a liking to it because you're learning it in a way that you're interested in learning it in. And when it comes to social aspects of school, this is like the hardest thing because I wasn't able to do this in school, so I can't really give proper advice with kind of knowing how to exactly handle it because me, I was just one to walk away and be like, nope, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, but I think that if you always keep in the front of your mind or like literally on the front of like a notebook, like quotes or... Um, like smaller goals that you have that you know that you're able to set now and I'm not just talking like lifelong goals like those are important too but when you're younger it's hard to like see those come into play because they're just they're kind of far-fetched at the moment because you know you're in school and all that kind of stuff um but if you set like smaller goals like even things that you just want to do on the weekend just to push yourself through it that way in case if it's something like you are being bullied you do have something to look forward to and that way you can stay focused on what it is that you really really want um, just to get yourself through the day. I find that I, I love Pinterest. Like, I know this is really random, but like, I love Pinterest so much. If you guys don't follow me, I will link it down below. I don't know if I've ever linked my Pinterest in, um, in a video before, but I have like a whole quotes board on Pinterest. And I find that a lot of those quotes just kind of like get me through my day. I actually, when I was in high school, I used to get Rev Run's tweets sent to my phone via text every time he would tweet and that helped me so much because I would just read things over and over again and it would just really like would sink in and would just help me uh, keep a positive mind like throughout the day because I find that it can be pretty difficult to do that when you have like just so much going on because school can be really overwhelming especially when you're in like your development years like your adolescent years where you don't totally you're not totally in tune with yourself and you're still developing as a person and then you have all this pressure on you it's just like it's too much so I hope that that sort of helped I know that like I didn't give too many tips but like I did want to throw a video out there um, for some back to school stuff because I did get a few comments about um, posting things for back to school especially on Instagram so yeah I wanted to talk about that if you guys want to see more videos like this or um, maybe I could do like um, a video showing what apps I would use if you guys have like an iPad or something like that because I didn't have an iPad when I was in high school and I feel like that would be so awesome if I did so yeah I can do a video like that comment below if you want to see that but I hope this video helped and even if it like if I didn't give you any new tips at least if you know that you're not alone with the, what you're feeling but you know that you're capable enough just keep knowing that you're capable so yeah I will see you guys um in the next video also if you didn't see my last video that I posted yesterday yeah click right here okay bye guys